from the user side, that specifically was another issue that, that I've been looking at and caused, caused another um, public drama among the, the users in Second Life was that there was a change in the terms of service that at least the people um, who read it believed was um, massively overreaching in changing um, to assert broader rights um, than, than what the terms had previously um, argued. And, you know, the traditional answer um, from, de you know, defenders of what, I, you know, what I might call an adhesive contract like that is, you know, nobody's life, nobody's actual life depends on playing Second Life, and if you don't like it, you can go to World of Warcraft or go, go take up crocheting um, instead. So, you know, you're not really being stuck with anything. Um, th there's really two problems with that. One problem is that at least some of these terms of service reserve the right to keep and do things with your creations, even if you terminated your um, account. Um, and that I, that I know has been controversial on, on, on YouTube, Facebook, and, and other ways. I haven't followed to see how it's played out. Uh, the other thing, though, is it, it, is it does overlook, and this is really more my perspective, again, as a sociologist, it, it overlooks the fact that, you know, it, that might be a much stronger argument in the initial instance. You decide, oh, I've heard about this thing called Second Life, let me check it out. You really haven't invested anything in it, and if you go and see the terms of service and they're not to your liking, yeah, then you can just walk away. But when you've invested two years of your life, and maybe your efforts in creating stuff and developed a reputation as the best hair maker in Second Life and people flock to your hair and now you're faced with a choice. Give all of that up, including giving up a social piece of yourself, not just the ability to sell for tiny pennies um, fake hair, but your so entire social relationships that exist within that space. And all of the other people having to give up their relationship with you simply by virtue of an owner saying, I want to assert now unilaterally on a take it or leave it basis broader rights. I think that's a very serious problem that the law needs to take into account. 